I'm an optimistic by nature, and uh, and I think that in, you know in these circumstances you got to you got to be very realistic, and especially when it comes to security and not take stupid gambles with your teams and your money and all of that. Uh, so absolutely, you have to be vigilant, but at the same time, I like to be an op- optimistic. I think that optimism actually uh, creates ingenuity. Um, so I'll go for your second option there, which is uh, you know which is that we'll start seeing some adoption by the end of the year. Okay. And uh, now when it comes. One of the reasons why I say that is, but you said at the beginning of the postcard, this is the time for builders, right? And uh, and we heard that a lot as uh, uh, you know at Permissionless, where we both were um, as well. Uh, the, uh, the, you know, the 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 way to come out of what we're going through right now is is you know is to develop innovative uh, technology and uh, to actually foster that broader. You know, broader adoption that everybody is, is is talking about. So, this is not necessarily the time for brand no. projects as much as it was maybe a few months ago. And so, building and improving the technology and improving the security and making people feel safe, so that crypto is not this ooh this horrible thing that is going to crash and ruin us all. Uh, you know, everything that goes around building security and safety and usability, I think it's absolutely needed in the space to overcome the current times. And, uh, and, and, you know, and like the best minds in the space, of course, are working on that, which makes me, which makes me optimistic. That's fabulous. Uh, Emmy, you, I, I know that yeah. Giovanna can't hear you, but please uh, jump in and then on Giovanna. I'll let yeah, you know, I, if, I, if I may add a couple of points on this, I see, I personally see, to reason, so to, to, let's say, obstacles in the way for Web2 to move to Web3 at higher pace. One is more emotional obstacles like uh, trust, especially trust issues. And that's given partly by the high volatile of this space and also by, you know, the fact that uh, there's not toxic people. Uh, you hear a lot of scams and so uh, security uh, systems are not so developed. So that's one thing that requires uh, more work, let's say, or it's, it's a bit more complex to, to tackle, but it should be tackled uh, by the whole industry. And another thing I see on the way are functional obstacles. Um, the, the biggest of, of, of those is, you know, the how easy and intuitive it is to access those community and to access those technologies. So right now, if we take, you know, just getting around Discord, creating wallets, buying an NFT, things like these are very, you know, not easy to understand, uh, even if you are, you know, quite used to, you know, buying things on, on, on the web, on, online. So I see that as primary point where technology, to Giovanna's point, can make, can become an enabler just to tell you our experience with that, when we started gambling in Italy, the online penetration was just 12%. So most of the people were playing at shops. When we left the industry, that penetration was 60%. So we, and you know, the enabling factor was make registration, creation of the account and payment much, much easier than they used to be at the beginning. Uh, so we can see a similar journey and I expect levers will be the same. So functional accessibility and more trust, uh, increased trust in the, you know, the, you, you, you say journey and, and, you know, I think you guys as seasoned entrepreneurs, you know, clearly understand how big of a journey this is about to be. I mean, clearly you, you guys are this is a very large market and the technology is early as it is. Um, you know, this is, this is, this is really cool to see again, the, the initial concept of, of what could be kind of those, those early stage, you know, um, you know, betting, betting platforms or, or, you know, I, I don't even at this point really assume you put you guys in with gambling because it's still very binary. You know, I'm sure that the goal is to, is, you know, to lead to there. And I saw a roadmap in your deck that I'm sure you'll get to. Um, but you know, the idea around, you know, you guys are trying to just solve a, there's two people with conflict, with conflicting interests that do have similar enough, similar interests that they need to collaborate and, and, and chat is a very kind of, uh, interesting way to bring the world together. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.